100 percent, man. Manny's uh, gold. Manny's uh, gold. I wish him all the best, man. The Spence fight. I'm backing him. I know. I, I, I know he 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 can win this fight, and he will win this fight. The way, the hunger that Manny has inside him, even at this, what he's done his career, you know, you can see it's burning. And I'm backing him all the way. I'm in his corner. Do you? Would you favor him in this fight? You feel like it, it, he's he's definitely 100 percent going to win. I mean, like uh, you know, Spence obviously is the kind of the next coming southpaw, big puncher. Probably is going to move up to to 54 soon. He's he's a big guy. Yeah, look, I think that could be an issue with him coming down in weight. Obviously, Spence is a big, you know, welterweight, so the weight could be, could play a part where you know he might take that fight too extra where he should have moved up. That could be a problem. Um, Manny's awkward speed, the way he moves, the way he throws shots from different angles, the explosive power, the footwork, something that Spence would have never seen before. You cannot prepare for that. No matter what sparring partners you get, you cannot prepare for what Manny brings to the ring. So it, it's a hell of a fight. It's a good fight. And I'm excited for it. And like I said, I'm in Manny's corner. I'm backing him. I'm supporting him. And, uh, you know, he'll get the job done. If anyone can, many can. Yes, sir. That's 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 a good slogan. That's that's the truth too. Nineteenth, uh, Cambosis can. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, speaking of issues making weight, Teofimo's not that he has had had issues, but he's talked about moving up to 140 for a while now. He's been calling out Josh Taylor since Josh Taylor won. Is that a? How does that factor into to this fight? Do you guys feel that he is going to have issues making weight coming in? Is he is he kind of the fact that you're talking about it already? Does that mean maybe you should should, should be he should have moved up already? Yeah, look, I feel like this might be that one fight you know, that he's sh too long where he should have moved up. You know, he's growing, his body's growing. But again, when we went face to face, he ain't that big. You know, he's got the muscles, but the muscles don't mean nothing. This is boxing, not bodybuilding. So, muscles more than anything reduce your stamina. And we all saw in the Lomachenko fight, his stamina ain't the best in the world. But you're coming up against a guy who I believe has the best stamina in the world, in myself. So that's where this fight is going to play a big role as well. But, um, you know, that's none of my concern. Making the weight, not making the weight, I don't really care. As long as he's in the ring, we've got the belts on the line, that's all that matters to me. But from seeing recent photos and, and recent certain videos that people have showed me, he looks sick, man. He looks very skinny. He looks very, uh, his eyes are already sucked in. That's not a good sign. I'm sure he's got about another 15 pounds to lose. Now, that's not a good sign. So that dehydration you know, is a big factor. I don't care who you, who's working with you, that takes a toll on the body. At 23 years of age, you know, that's a big toll. I have no, no issues with weight. I'm eating great. I'm, I'm hydrated nonstop. And um, I could make weight tomorrow. But I feel fantastic. Hell of a camp I've had. Man, you look in great shape, man. Uh, I'm so excited for this fight because I feel like it's very uh, kind of like two Cobras striking at each other. I feel like that's how you, your guys' uh, styles are going to uh, uh, play out, man. Uh, uh, and I'm super, super excited to, to, see, to see you perform, man. Um, just quickly, I want to get your take on a, a big fight coming up as well, uh, Fury versus uh, Wilder 3 uh, next month, I believe. Yeah, how does that fight play out, do you think? It's, it's, it's a good fight. It's not the fight that everyone wants to see. But, yeah, Deontay has... You know, point to prove. He wants his fight because, you know, he wants to show something. And I'm sure he's very embarrassed of what happened last time. So you cannot count a goal like that out. Now, I hope Fury doesn't overlook him because you overlook him. All of a sudden, Deontay has the power to put you to sleep. So it's, it's, it's an interesting fight. You'd think Fury has the edge and has his number from what happened to the last fight. But again, you can never count out Deontay with that power. So... Another good fight. This is what has to happen in boxing. The best fight and the best. Right. You know, it brings, it elevates the sport. You know, it, it, it makes boxing, you know, what it once was. You know, great sport. Oh, excuse my French, but fuck the cherry picking. Say it, it's best fight, yeah. best fight, the best. Yeah. Best fight, the best. You know, when I take out this kid, obviously I want to fight the next big name. Who's the biggest name after Lopez? Is it Haney? Is it Javante? Is it Garcia? Lomachenko? No problem. Line them up like dominoes and I'll knock them down. <laughs> Who is the biggest name for you at, at 135? Like if, if you could pick, okay, you get the victory over Lopez, next biggest guy is... I'll tell you who's going to be the biggest name. You're looking at him right now. <laughs> I'll be the biggest name because I'll hold all the aces. So I'll fight myself. I'll fight myself. And that's going to be a uh, $20 million fight. <laughs> but um, look, it doesn't bother me. 
all them guys, you know, are good fighters. But when you hold all the aces, you gotta come see. You gotta come see me. And best believe, I've had the hard road. I've had to come to the US. Best believe that they want me, you gotta come down under and fight Cambosis in the big stadiums. Nice, nice. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring a big fight over to that area, which is kind of rare. Why not? Um, we were very close to making this fight happen down under, but uh, COVID, quarantine's very difficult at the moment. Mm -hmm. But um, when you hold all the aces, now these guys are going to have no... no uh, they're going to have to quarantine and do what the government says to get the opportunity, right. or else you miss the boat. Right. But um, we'll, of, see, we'll see. Then again, I love fighting here in the US. Right. I love fighting in the US. So we'll see, but the, the, the dream and the goal, and it, it will come to reality, is to bring back a big fight to Australia in a stadium fight, 80,000 people. That's, that's my, uh, my dream, and that's what will happen. I see it. And as well, I want to big, bring a big fight to Greece. Very proud of my heritage. You know, I got to visit the, uh, the Olympic Stadium in Athens in 2019 after I had just uh, had my victory in, in Athens. And I just looked and I envisioned it again. If you go on my social media, you'll be able to see that photo. And I said, I'm going to bring a big fight here. So I manifested, manifested. I visioned it. Yes, and like two years ago, I was talking about Lopez. Mm -hmm. There was a tweet when me and him took a photo. And I said, this is a future mega fight. Well, here we are. When you vision it, you've got, you got a mind like mine. You know, and not many athletes have it, but I feel like I have it and I do have it. It happens. I love the manifestation, brother. I'm big on that myself. Just lastly, uh, speaking of having all the aces, man, you're, you're going after all the aces in your, in your first attempt, uh, Adam, right? Your first uh, title attempt. Did you ever, did, was that a manifestation as well? That, you know, that, I mean, just how, what does that mean to you? I mean, people spend their whole careers and never become undisputed, and you're getting first crack at, at a title, and you're, it's all of them. Look, when you've had a hard row like myself, good things come about. When you put in the work and you dedicate your, yourself to the sport like I have, I don't drink, I don't party, I don't take drugs, you know. I even feel bad if I have like a cheap meal. I feel bad if I don't do my second training session or my third training session. I have a guilty inside me. That's the kind of athlete I am. You know, my, my wife, you know, she'll say, you've trained two times today. You're like 20 weeks out from a fight. We're on holidays. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's inside me. It's the person I am. You know, I love this sport, and um, you know, when you manifest so much in your, in your career and you see it, you know, you put your 110% into it. So I'm just focused, man. I can't wait for for my uh, my fight. This is my fight, and everything is is, is on my side. And uh, all he's bringing to the table is is them belts. I'm running the show here, like I ran the press conference, and you know, I'm running the show here. It's my show. Hard to beat someone uh, with that determination, brother. George, uh, tell the fans, man, where they can follow you and uh, see the journey up to the, to the 19th. Man, just uh, social media. Instagram, George Cambosa Jr., you'll find me. And uh, just support me, man. As real as it gets, I'm here to fight. A warrior, ready for battle, and I'm coming to win. Yes, sir. George, appreciate your time, appreciate sir. It, Thank you very much.